Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Kumar. In the last video of Spring Web Flux tutorial, we learned about publisher and subscriber. So now we are going to learn Mono and Flux. What are these two types, Mono and Flux, and how we use them? So let's see how we can use that Mono and Flux in our code. So Web Flux comes with two types of publishers, which is Mono and flux these two are publishers so anything which goes out from your spring web flux i mean reactive programming application that should be a publisher and in case of spring web flux we have to return mono or flux so let's see in the code so here prior to web flux or reactive programming we always create a method and return a, uh, a type of data right so let's say example is if so if we have a method print and we want to return this data to the caller what we do we use the return type as a string okay and if we have some list let's say okay so now we have two method one is returning string another is returning list so this is this is what we are doing in a traditional application but when we talk about the reactive programming we have only two type of return which is mono and flux so if we have to return a string then we have to wrap this with mono mono is always used whenever we have a single entity that want that we want to return or we want to return as a single entity even though it has a multiple entity and multiple data okay so what we do we collect them and send them as a single entity so we can write like mono like this and mono comes under reactor code publisher as i said right this is a publisher mono and flux are publishers and now when we are returning mono so to return mono we need to create a mono object right so to create a mono we need to use mono just this method don't worry we will learn about these methods one by one so now instead of returning a string we are returning a mono okay so instead of returning integer list of integer we are returning flux so now these two methods are returning of two type of publisher first is mono another is flux so the most important thing that what we need to learn here is mono and flux are two different types of publishers and they have their own uh, you know purpose to use whenever you have to work with a single entity or or effectively a single entity you could use mono and whenever you have a uh, more than one entity more than one data with you and you want to return to the caller then you should use flux so let's run this so if you want to run we can call inside this main method itself so we can make it like a static method to call inside this just to avoid creating a new object so here we can use print right so let's run and see what's happened okay so now you can see here we are seeing mono just okay because we are returning the object if we want to uh, get the data we need to subscribe this publisher that we have learned in the previous video you haven't seen that video yet please go and watch the second video of this tutorial and you will come to know what is publisher and subscriber so here we are it is returning mono what we need to do we need to subscribe that so instead of doing this what we have to do we have to do like this print dot subscribe and in this subscribe we can use consumer like we can say data and here 
inside that we can say like okay we want to print uh, this data and now we can run this if we save the context which should be reloaded okay i think it is not saved yet let's save this yeah so the context is loading and now you can see the data so what i'm trying to say here is we have mono data type and we have subscribed it and we have utilized it here using the subscription so now the thing is similarly we can use uh, flux as well if you want to use flux you can do in the same way you can call that method print numbers and then you can call subscribe subscribe has different overloaded methods you can see here we can pass consumer core subscriber and another subscriber as well so we will discuss them in upcoming videos so as of now we are going to use the second method of this the subscriber where it takes consumer and in that we are considering data as a variable for that and we are going to do the same thing what we have done earlier sys out and then here we will print data so we we just need to avoid this okay so let's save and see what's the output so here is the output so we are having output of this this line you can see we are having the numbers as a flux now in reactive programming we do not get the object directly we work on mono and flux it means if one method is calling another method then it will get mono and it has to work on them for example if i am going to call this print numbers inside this mono method so if i have to use it we cannot say like we want to do let's say another example actually let's say i want to get okay so now what we have to do if i am returning email right so we we cannot return like this return i mean we should not return like this that if i am going to return techie 29 at the rate gmail.com no we should not do that then you are not following the reactive programming approach so what you should always do each method should return or consume in terms of mono and flux then after your application will be really reactive okay so when we talk about reactive it always about the threads and all which uh, which is taken care by the application itself so if you are uh, using this uh, the traditional approach in between then you are going to uh, you know um, i mean at the end it will impact your application okay so you should not do like this whenever you have to you you have data and you have to return from your method what you should do you should always write like this if you want to return mono dot just and like this okay so you should return mono and whoever will get this mono they have to consume it so let's say if you are thinking in a traditional way what we do if we are getting data and we are uh, storing in a string object so maybe you are going to get the data you are going to get email here so might be you are expecting okay so let's uh, store this email inside this variable and then we will do something so you are going to do like mono so here you are going to do like um, calling that method what's the method name get email so let's create this method as static guys i'm making making this method as static just to avoid creating an object this is just for you know demo purpose so it's not like there is a rule we have to create a static always if we are going to call this method non-static method inside a static method we must have to create an object of that class and then we have to access through object reference right so i, I just avoid uh, avoid trying to avoid those things right so let's say now we have a get email and we are just calling it 
right so get email will return momo string and we are expecting a string so what you, you could do we can use like block so whenever we see block so it blocks the thread until it gets the data so this thread will not be available for other purpose or other work okay so until the data is received from this mono it won't do another work so that's why so if you do block you can get your object out of that publisher but this is not the correct approach we should never do that avoid this it's not recommended okay so what you should do if you want to have this data you should do in this way you want data right so do get email and then that you need to do suppose you have to do some operations or maybe you want to append that data or you want to do some any other operation if you want to simply print it so you must have to do the same approach subscribe data and then you can print like this out data so let let's see like you know if we want do something else apart from this printing right this is very simple but if we have to if you see here it got printed it's also printing the first line let's comment let me comment out this okay now save this file so we should see okay what what error we are getting here email cannot be resolved to a variable okay so this is the problem let's cut it out okay now save this file again we are getting problem what's that instant already exist exception type admin name okay application run failed let me terminate this and rerun the application okay so we are having the output whatever the email i have provided but there could be a different kind of operations right so let's say we have to do some operation on flux this is also a publisher right so on flux whatever data we are receiving from a method we need to apply some logic and we need to uh, you know return some another value like in previous video i i tried to print a table of two or of a number right so similarly here if i want to multiply all the numbers by two okay then i must have to do some operations right so let's say i got this flux and i want to return a flux of uh, flux of integers after performing that operation so here what we are doing we are doing flux dot just so instead of that if we want to do right here let's say where we are we are consuming this method so print sorry here we are consuming this method so let me comment out this and we are going to consume this perform some operation and then we will use that right so i'm going to do like in this way we are going to do call print numbers okay so let's do in this way we are going to write one method public static and then we are in flux of integer and then we can say like we will double the number double numbers okay and here we are going to get flux flux of integers integer right then flux we are going to get this and on that flux we are going to perform some operation so let's say we are going to perform some operation flux dot flat map we can use flat map and here we are going to some operations data and we are going to do data into two right and dot that's it we are going to do this and this will return a flux with okay 
So now here, what we have to return flux dot just data into two. We have flux of integers and we are doing some operations and we are returning again a flux. We will learn like what is flat map. Okay. So in short, I could tell like whenever we have a one type of flux or, or mono, right? And we want to return another type of flux or mono, we can use this flat map. So now it is returning a flat map. Flat map is returning a flux of integer, right? You can see the return type now if we use this and we subscribe and check like what we are getting it so we can go here double numbers dot subscribe i think uh, some mistake i have done oh double numbers and we need to pass the flux so to pass the flux we can so use print numbers method so this is the flux what we are passing dot subscribe we will take the consumer one and here we can see like item item and we want to print right nothing else says item and we need to remove this terminate line that's it so we are good to go so let's save this it reloads the page and now if you see the output my numbers are got multiplied with two see this is the input and this is the output so what i'm trying to say here is we have to play around mono and flux so that's how we use a uh, map uh, sorry mono and flux and the thing is like you know when you do work more on this flux you will learn more and you will have broader idea how to use that but you must have to keep in mind you have to block this you have to avoid this using blocks because it blocks the thread which is running this method and in reactive programming we should not block any thread okay so that's it about mono and flux i just want to give a brief introduction about these two type of publishers and how we use them and how we should uh, use in a method and uh, in the same way right we we use the same approach whenever we write a uh, you know apis right so we will see in future in upcoming videos how to use them uh, what i'm planning like at the end of this tutorial we will create one project a very simple project where we will discuss about how to write apis and how to create a reactive application from a scratch till the you know completion okay so that's it for this video this brings me to the end of this video thank you so much for watching my video if you really liked it please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed it please subscribe my channel thank you very much once again